Three, leaders will use betrayal to ensure they remain in power. Using the characters in the Parliament of Owls, discuss the validity of the above statement. Power is sweet, and once one tastes power, it is almost impossible to convince them to let it go. In the Parliament of Owls, leaders in power resort to betrayal to maintain their influence, as will be discussed below. The birds are seen to betray one another and as a result, fail to create a common front through which to tackle their problems. While the owls make laws to give themselves an advantage as night birds over day birds, some day birds take the side of the owls, thereby making it easy for the owls to divide and rule. Telltale is misused by the owls to spread propaganda making it easier for the owls to exploit the other birds. She is used by red string, for example, to prepare the ground for the introduction of the moonlight law because the owls know that day birds trust her. Besides, she is entrusted with the duty of warning the birds, so it will appear like she is only doing her duty. Red String betrays Telltale when he sends her to spread propaganda against Asogo promising not to victimize Asogo when the owls invade the weaver birds. Asogo is however not spared making Telltale appear in league with the owls. Also, he betrays her when Aram Tiddy arrives by immediately taking to the new alternative and threatening her into submission, he pretends that Telltale is declining the job because of the pay. Aram Tiddy who has just arrived and is unaware of what had passed between them is none the wiser. Besides, Aram Tiddy is in competition with Tell Tell, meaning that Tell Tell will either do the detestable job given or risk her reputation with the day birds which Red String threatens to ruin by revealing that she has been working with the owls. Aram Tiddy betrays both Tell Tell and his fellow day birds. He sets up a plan to take care of Telltale in order to remove competition for the job of propagandist for the Parliament of Owls by suggesting that Hammering be outlawed. This will make Telltale jobless. He also suggests that a hammering tax be introduced and Telltale be arrested. He does all this to get her out of the way. He agrees to confuse the day birds into accepting the moonlight. For P-A-G-E. Law if they do not get convinced. Aram Tiddy also agrees to be bribed with a rat every night served with delicious soup at the royal trees in order to turn against his fellow day birds. Other day birds betray Oyundi too. One day bird accuses Oyundi of making all day birds appear enemies of the owls and leaves. Okongorio suggests that the bird is heading to inform money bags which prompts Oyundi to send feathered beak after him. Straight-Eyed also betrays the day birds after sticking with them for so long when he is offered an appointment by Royal Owl. Royal Owl betrays his subjects by not working to their expectation despite the subjects giving him power to do so. Instead, he turns against them by giving more advantages to the owls.
He also fails to run the kingdom justly by no checking those he appoints to rule on his behalf. On many occasions, he is also part of the machinery that directly takes advantage of his subjects. He is quite aware of the murder of Aram Tiddy. He calls for celebration at his graveside when he is killed and, in fact, goes through the farce of a posthumous crowning of one who has been murdered. Similarly, he takes advantage of Oyundi to kill Descent. He gets her appointed to the Parliament of Owls in order to silence the day birds. This way, he betrays the trust given to him by his subjects, who include the day birds. It is also clear that Royal Owl has no friends. He is quick to judge money bags after it is revealed he has been working to overthrow him. He betrays the other owls by not ensuring a fair trial for money bags whose condemnation eventually leads to the overthrow of the owls. It is also his navit and ignorance which causes most of the problems in the kingdom. In conclusion, through the discussion of this theme, the playwright condemns leaders who turn against their electorate after they have been elected into office. He sees this as a great betrayal since the electorate signs a contract with the elected leaders and it is great betrayal for leaders not to fulfill their end of the bargain after the elections. 5 p.m.